There's a game that Canadian kids play called King of the Hill. Um, you find a hill that's uh, made out of snow or ice, preferably snow because ice can be a little bit too hard a surface for it. Uh, some kid goes up to the top and uh, everyone else tries to push him off the top and then you're up there on the top and you're the king of the hill for however long. It's kind of like a version of playing tag but in reverse. Um, if you ask me, subscribing to an ism is something like that because you're going up stating your position and taking on all comers to shove you off the hill. You're not really paying attention to what is going on around you anymore except in as much as it involves fending off challenges to whatever ism it is that you've subscribed to. For in the case of atheism, I'm, I'm now sort of saying, okay, uh, this is my ism that I'm subscribing to, and I'm either going to fend off challenges or I suppose I'm going to attack other people on their hills. Uh, I'm not saying that all isms are like this. It depends on whether or not your ism actually is an actual central core belief that is essential that you spread around in the world. Um, or even that you uh, attempt to justify in your own head against uh, all challenges, um, or if it's simply a tool towards other things. To me, if you want an illustration as to why I'm sort of philosophizing or thinking about anything, imagine Neo in the Matrix, and he's walking around, he knows now he's in the Matrix, and he's trying to figure out what it all is. He hasn't figured it out yet. He's going, here I am in the Matrix. What is all of this? That's kind of my view of what the purpose of knowledge is, is to figure out what all this is. If I say that I'm an atheist, it can very easily distract me into arguing with everybody else all the time, instead of sort of musing in my own head as to what on earth is going on here. Um, <clears throat> and to me, at least, isms are sort of reactionary. I used a metaphor a long time back on a uh, series of videos I made, endless series of on antinatalism, um, of the conventional view of time. Now, um, to illustrate, imagine that you're on a streetcar. Toronto is a Canadian city and it's still got streetcars, one of the few in North America that do. You go to the back of the streetcar as the streetcar moves forward and you look out the back window and you watch the world go by this way. That, I think, is the conventional view of time. Um, things that are close to the present are sort of coming just past your field of vision, and as they go further into the past, they go back, 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 and then poof, they vanish when you forget them. Um, I think that isms are like that to a certain extent, because what they're doing is they're reacting against either beliefs that other people have or beliefs that you used to have. Um, every ism seems to be a reaction against another ism. Atheism seems to be a reaction against theism. I guess. Yes, I do pronounce theism, not theism, because uh, the, that's how the ancient Greeks would have pronounced it. Um, so you're not really actually walking around in the matrix trying to figure out what's going on. You're arguing with other people who are equally trapped in the matrix over whose metaphor or whose idea is probably the best one for explaining what the matrix is. Now that's all very well, but ultimately all that you're doing is you're comparing metaphors. Um, atheism, to me, if you take it as sort of a central core belief, is nothing more than a metaphor. Uh, it doesn't really explain a lot, it just says that another metaphor is dumb. Um, okay, well at least some people's atheism does, um, but that's why I can't subscribe to atheism. Is It's incomplete, it's reactionary at least in terms of how it works in my own head. I'm not saying that that's the way it works for everybody. I do seem, see people out there, on YouTube especially, where I believe that that's how it works. Uh, the new atheists seem to be completely reactionary. They don't seem to actually have any epistemology, cos cosmology, or metaphysics, or, or even any philosophy about anything. It's just how that guy's metaphor is idiotic and dangerous. That, I'm afraid, is purely reactionary. Um, that's all very well if that's all that you want out of it. I guess I want a little more. <laughs> Thank you.